Welcome to this key learning initiative video. Today's topic is measurement and we're converting between volume and capacity. Now we use cubic units for volume and liters and milliliters and kiloliters for capacity. Now when we're talking about cubic units and capacity there's a massive gap and in this case a river between the two and what we want to be able to is have an ability to go from cubic units to capacity in other words we need to be able to build a bridge from our cubic units all the way to capacity and then if we've got capacity all the way back to cubic units so carrying on with our metaphor we have four different bridges for doing this Let's look at the first bridge. Now, if I have one centimeter cubed, that's equal to one milliliter. In other words, if I have 50 centimeters cubed, that will give me 50 milliliters. And from capacity, if I have four milliliters, that will give me four centimeters cubed. So the one is just equal to the other one, except for your units. Let's look at our second bridge that we can build. 1,000 millimeters cubed is the same as 1 milliliter. So, if I have 5,000 millimeters cubed, that equals... Now, let's have a look. What do I do to 1,000 to get 5,000. Well hopefully you can see I multiply by 5. So then for capacity I take my 1 milliliter I multiply by 5 and that gives me 5 milliliters. In other words 5,000 millimeters cubed gives me 5 milliliters. Let's look at another one. 0, 0,7 milliliters and we want to know how many cubic units that is. Now what do we do to go from 1 milliliter to 0, 0,7 milliliters? Well we times it by 0, 0,7. On my left hand side I take 1000 I times it by 0, 0,7 and that gives me 700 millimeters cubed. In other words, 0, 0,7 milliliters equals 700 millimeters cubed. Let's look at our third bridge. A thousand centimeters cubed is the same as one liter. Let's put two examples here. If I have 2,500 centimeters cubed, how many liters is that? Well, how do I go from 1,000 to 2,500? I times by 2,5. On my right hand side, therefore, to go from 1 liter, I times by 2,5. And that gives me 2,5 liters. Also, if I have 40 liters and I want them in centimeters cubed. Right, what do I do to 1 liter to get 40 liters? I multiply by 40. So on my cubic units or volume side, I take a thousand, I multiply it by 40, and that gives me 40,000 centimeters cubed. 40 liters is equal to 40,000 centimeters cubed. Let's look at our last bridge. One meter cubed is equal to a thousand liters. So, if I have five comma six meters cubed and I want to know how many liters that is, well, to go from one to five comma six, I times by five comma six. On my right hand side, I take a thousand, I times by five comma six, and that gives me 5,600 liters. In other words, 5,6 meters cubed 
is 5,600 liters. If I have 400 liters, now I have to ask the question, how do I go from 1,000 liters to 400? Well, I times by 0, 0,4. So under cubic units, I take 1 meter cubed, I times by 0, 0,4, and that means that it's 0, 0,4 meters cubed. In other words, 400 liters is 0, 0,4 meters cubed. So in summary, before we do two other examples, let's have a look. Our first bridge, 1 centimeter cubed equals 1 milliliter. Our second bridge, a thousand millimeters cubed equals one milliliter. A thousand centimeters cubed equals one liter. And one meter cubed equals a thousand liters. Those are our four bridges from cubic units or volume to capacity. So let's look at example one. This is probably how you'll get asked it. Change. 50 meters cubed to liters. Well, we look at our bridges and we find the one that has meters cubed and liters. Can you see it's the last one? One meter cubed equals a thousand liters. So we write it down one meter cubed equals a thousand liters. Now we want 50 meters cubed. How do I go from 1 to 50? Well, hopefully you can see that I times by 50. That means on my right hand side, I have 1000 times 50. 1000 times 50 gives me 50,000 liters. Example 2. Change 34,5 milliliters to millimeters cubed. Again, let's look at our bridges which one has milliliters and millimeters cubed. Can you see it's the second one? So we write it down 1000 millimeters cubed equals one milliliter. All right they ask us for 34,5 milliliters. Now make sure you keep the milliliters on the same side and the millimeters cubed on the same side. Now to go from 1 to 34,5 we times by 34,5. So on the left hand side we have 1000 times 34,5 and that gives us 34,500 millimeters cubed. And those are our last two examples. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking here. But otherwise, thank you for watching this key learning initiative video on measurement, converting between volume and capacity.